this is your third time here. Tell us yeah. what you like about Shockstock. Oh my God, it's everybody's having a great time. It's real horror fans for the fans. And all of us that have done movies or even if we're making things or vending them, this is where the party's at. And everybody knows that. So that's number one. And can I say that? Yeah. How did you start? Well, I'm originally um, from Oregon, and then I went to New York, and I was a model, never a big time model, but I was in, the, you know, I was in the game, and um, eventually I just went, hmm. And people used to say to me, "You talk a little too much to be a model. You should find something that would work better." And so I started thinking about theater, and I did theater for a very long time, off off Broadway, did a bunch of stuff, and then I just worked my way up to saying, "I should apply for film school in Italy." Filled out an application, went over there, and within about six months, I was doing films. I love theater because for the lifestyle, it's forever, and there you can play something for the rest of your life, and so it's wonderful. But a little bit, the family of film, it doesn't go away. Because a little bit, sometimes you do a play and you keep going on and on and on, but with film, we all know each other forever. And the, and the family of that, and, re, and I also did films in Europe, so it's a little bit different, and that's wonderful. I mean, I worked with Dario Argento, Lamberto Bava, uh, uh, Fulci, Matei, so, I mean, that's family. What is it about the horror genre that you like? Oh, that they were casting me? <laughs> they were not casting my type and look in the, in the United States, so I went to Europe to get work. And so, yeah, I love them. But I was kind of the wrong color for a lot of stuff. And in Italy, color didn't matter. And I never had a script in, in Italian to say a black person or whatever. It's a ragazza de colore. And so um, I never had a script that said, Black, black woman 32, or black mom 29, or uh, black, never, it just said the character's name. And I even have a character called Chocolate, and it still didn't say where I was from. And my roommate that uh, is uh, Irish and red hair was originally cast for the part. So it's just, it was so mind blowing. It's so mind blowing to just be free, to be so free. So, I mean, but the other thing where I was typecast is because I was sporty, and let's just say some of the girls weren't as sporty, and so I did do a lot of sci-fi, a lot of horror, and a lot of times I played the monster. Spoiler alert. But a lot of times, I'm it. You don't know I'm it, but I'm it. But the thing I love, I'm a writer. So I write screenplays, and um, I completed the MFA program of the American Film Institute, and I think it taught me some things after being in so many crazy movies. And um, I write. I write almost all the time, or I'm watching movies. And that's fun to me. I'm also a great cook. Oh, gosh, what do I can, just about anything. I can do any kind of Italian food. I can bake bread, you know. I can go out and hunt something. I mean, I'm from Oregon. <laughs> What do I not do? <laughs> Anybody can find out what I'm up to at any time, and I'm everywhere on all the socials, and it's Jaretta Jaretta. Because, how'd you get it? Because, what's your name? Jaretta, what? Jaretta? And so it got stuck. It's on my passport and everything.